In order to create a new Azure DNS zone with the Azure CLI, the first thing we're going to need to do is create a resource group in order for this to exist. We could put it in an existing resource group, but for this case, I'm just going to create one for it. So if we run AZ group create with the details of the resource group that we want to create, it takes a couple of seconds and then comes back with our new resource group. So once we've got our resource group, we can use the command AZ network DNS zone create and give it the group that it needs to go into and the name of the domain that we want to create. So if we run that, it should quickly create our new zone. And from there, if we use the command AZ network DNS zone list, it will list out all of the zones that we've got in our current subscription, which in this case should be just the one that we've created. There we go. And there's the details of the zone that we've created. Notice the name servers there that are listed out. So if we want to query this domain, those are the name servers we need to point it at. So in order to create a record in this zone, we need to use the AZ network DNS record set command and add an A record in with all the details like the group and the domain and the IP address we want to create it under. So if we run that, we've now created our new A record. So just to prove the point, if we go over to a command prompt, we'll notice that it resolves the www.domain.com that we just created to the 10.10.10.10 address. But if we go and change this to just two W's at the beginning and try and resolve it, you notice it comes back and it fails. So if we go back to our code, we can now create a C name as well in order to point at that www.domain.com. So if we run that and go back to our command prompt and try and resolve the www.domain.com again, we'll notice this time it comes back without the error and it resolves correctly. So now if we wanted to remove that record, we could use the same command, but with the remove hyphen record command in the middle of it, using all the same details, etc., as before. So this will remove the www.domain.com C name. So if we run that, it takes a couple of seconds and then returns. So if we go back to the command prompt again and try and look up that domain name, we'll notice it comes back with an error again because that no longer exists. And finally, if we want to remove the whole zone, we can just do an AZ group delete, delete the resource group, and that will delete everything that's in within their DNS zones and the DNS records. It asks me if I want to perform that operation. And once that returns, if we run line six here again to list out all the DNS zones that are existing, it returns nothing because we've deleted all of our DNS zones. Thanks for watching.